So that's similar to what we're going to be doing tomorrow, but there'll be multiple like sections, kind of just trying to go through a lot of these different topics that we've been going over. So um, the ones we need to get to on the back are the proportions, percents, and then also solving for a variable. So just to remind you guys with proportions, when you guys see a fraction equaling a fraction, this is where we want to cross multiply. A lot of times you're going to want to use parentheses. This isn't a great example because you probably don't really need parentheses in this case. But since there's two terms there, I put parentheses around them. So I get 4x equals 1 times 2x plus 6. And like I said, you don't really need a parentheses in that case, but um, just to remind you that you might. Because distributing a 1 and nothing really happens. Then I need to move the x to the other side, so I'm going to move that 2x over. In order to move it to the other side, this is where we undo it. And then to get my x alone, we're going to divide by 2. With our percents, remember this is where we have the percent proportion. It is over of equals a percent over 100. It helps to remind us to set these up in a way that makes sense every time. So 49 is 90% of what number? So the 49 is my is, that's going to go on top. 90% goes over 100. And it's of what number? So that's where my x is going to be, is my of. So then we'll divide by 90. And what do we end up with then, guys? 54.4. Does it keep repeating? Yeah. 54 point and tenths place would be 0.4. Because the 4 tells us just to leave it at that point. If you're rounding up, it would be a 5 or more. So 54.4. Okay. It says you want to leave it 18% tip. Oh, it should, be, it should say tip. On a food bill that is $35. How much tip should you leave? And then what would be the total amount you pay? So 18% is kind of that... Um, that standard rate that like if you go with a big group of friends to a restaurant, which again, we don't get to do that, um, but a big group of friends to a restaurant, they might just put an 18% tip on your bill just because a lot of times, if you're, especially if you're like teenagers or something like that, sometimes they do that just to make sure their waitresses get what they need. Um, so the 18% tip, we're taking 18% of 35. So how much money the waitress is going to make on your table, and then how much total you'd want to leave. So the of 35 means the 35 goes on the bottom. 18% of 100, or 18 out of 100. So we have to do our 18 times 35. 630. Divide by 100, which ends up being $6.30. That's how much the waitress would make then on your bill for that night. So that should be this tip. And then the total amount you would pay, you would add that 35 onto that. So 41.30 would be the total bill then. All right, last thing we're going to talk about then is solving for a variable, and then I'll give you guys the rest of the time to get working on homework, which, like I said, isn't exactly sure. There's quite a few problems.
So we want to solve for y. They'll tell you which variable to solve for. So that means we want to get our y alone. So just like we did on last night's homework, we're going to move whatever is being added or subtracted away. So what do you move first? This 6x. So we're going to subtract 6x because it was positive. Now those aren't like terms, so I can't put them together. It's a positive 3y equals 3 minus 6x. So then to get my y alone, I need to divide by 3. But in this case, I can actually divide everything by 3, so I do want to do that. So I wouldn't want to stop there. Because this is all divisible by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. And negative 6x divided by 3 is going to be a negative 2x. Alright, so let me explain the homework. The homework is a little bit on the long side. I will tell you guys right now, if you guys do a great job of working tomorrow and don't be like, you know, like, you know, not acting out to Miss Miller and it's going to be Miss Kilburn here. Um, I can check this on Monday and this can be your homework for like the extended period. You're still going to get the notes quiz and you're still going to get, um, so tomorrow, just a reminder, so Thursday we're doing a notes quiz and then also Khan Academy. Now just so you guys know for Khan Academy, Again, that's not a quiz. You can, use, you can use your notes on it. You can use your calculator. Um, you can watch videos. You can go back and try it again. You should not be using your cell phone. Um, your cell phone has, just has too many capabilities. So Khan Academy, this is what you guys are doing tomorrow. Now, this homework assignment can be due for Monday. But if you guys aren't taking care of business and using your time wisely, I will have another assignment like kind of ready to go in case that is the case and, and it can be assigned per person even so if people are not doing what they need to do and they're giving people a hard like the teachers a hard time i will have a backup assignment an additional assignment does that make sense Mr. Miller? Okay. otherwise this can be due monday so it's a little bit of a long assignment i saw that as i was going through it last night as well um so i'm okay with that um but then use your time wisely so that means if you finish your math that i asked you guys to find something else to work on okay does that sound fair? You can handle that? All right. You're all, you know, yeah, you can do it. All right. So homework is listed there for you guys. We don't have AR today, or we don't have much time in AR. So, um, so that know that this doesn't have to be turned in tomorrow. So um, you have time. Don't get yourself all bent out of shape about it, okay? If you do finish it, though, make sure you have something else to work on. Yes, thank you.